In our last video, we talked about how to actively participate in the forums and threads. This video will cover all of the ins and outs of grading discussions in your course. Student interactions with the discussion board create a permanent record of participation, yet you also need to have reasonable expectations about what can be accomplished in an online discussion. Due to its nature, more time may be needed for well-articulated points to emerge in the online environment. In addition to providing a practical number of course discussion opportunities, students need timely and constructive responses regarding the quality of their contributions. Evaluation not only lets them know how they performed, but it shapes the improvement of future interactions. Most likely, the developer of your course has already outlined how the discussions should be graded in your course. Reach out to the course contact if you have any questions. You can assign grades based on student participation, on the quality of their posts, or a combination of the two. Discussion board rubrics can also be uploaded into Blackboard for easier grading. Reach out to your school's designated AT if you have questions about how to do this. There are three ways to access the grading area for discussion boards. First, go to Grade Center, then Needs Grading. The Needs Grading area will be covered at length in a later video in this series, but for now, find an item categorized as Discussion and click the name of the student under the User Attempt column. The second way to access discussion grading is by going to the Full Grade Center, finding the column for the forum you wish to grade and selecting Grade User Activity from the drop-down menu for a specific cell in that column. Again, refer to our later video on the Grade Center for more details. The third and easiest way to access discussion grading is by clicking the Discussion Forum title and clicking Grade Discussion Forum on the action bar. On the Grade Discussion Forum users page, you'll see a list of all the students in your course and under the Post column, the number of times they posted in that forum. Note that you can also email students from this list by checking the box next to their name and clicking Email. Click the Grade button in the row of the student you wish to grade first. On the Grade Discussion Forum page, a collection of the student's posts made to the graded forum appears. Because you can assign a forum a grade based on multiple threads, all messages posted by a student are included for review. On the action bar, click Print Preview to open the page in a new window in a printer-friendly format. Posts print in the order they appear on the page. To select which posts appear in which order, you can filter and sort posts using the Filter function and the Sort By and Order drop-down lists on the action bar. The grading sidebar contains the following areas. Forum Statistics. Click to access the drop-down area that includes information about a user's posts, such as total post, date of last post, average post length, and average post position. Click the down pointing arrow next to the current user's name to view a list and select a user with posts ready to grade. The selected user's posts appear in the content frame. Use the left and right pointing arrows to navigate to the previous or next student. And this is the area to add a grade, feedback, and private notes for yourself. In the content frame, evaluate the currently selected user's posts. In the grading sidebar, type a grade. If you associated a rubric with this forum, expand and complete the rubric. To edit an existing grade, simply click in the grade box and change the grade. Optionally, you can type feedback for the student here and that will appear next to their grade in My Grades. In the Add Notes section, make notes that appear only to you, the instructor. You can use the Spell Check function in the bottom of each text box. Click this icon to open the full content editor, giving you access to all the content editor functions. Click Submit to add the grade, feedback, and grading notes to the Grade Center.